When I was younger, there was two things I always wanted to make. The first one was a valve guitar amplifier, which I've already made. And the second one was a valveless pulse jet engine. I always thought they were so strange looking that they shouldn't work. I'm going to have a go at making one now. I've had a look on the internet and I've found a few plans for these pulse jet engines, uh, even some drawings with measurements and things, and I've taken a kind of amalgam of them all together and I've come up with my own plan, which hopefully will work. This is based on the internal diameter of this tubing here, because I've, this is what I've got to work with. Everything else will be cut to size. For the cone templates, I've found various websites that will give you a print out to scale and you just use those as a pattern. For the fuel rail I've got some pieces of this as you can see previously used instrument tubing which I think will be just about the perfect size. I'll drill some holes in that and block off one end and use the other end to feed the gas in. So hopefully that should work okay. Daft cat's just been out in the rain. It's absolutely soaked. I've tried filing this up a couple of times and I can't seem to get it to run properly. So after a bit of further investigation I think the problem might be the length of this U-bend here. I've used tubing that is a much tighter bend radius than what's on there. So I've come up with a revised plan which is a longer section in here to compensate to keep this the correct length so I'm going to try it now see if it goes this time It runs okay on this beauty and propane mix. The trouble is it drains one of these in about two minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'll try it on some map gas, which will zoom it up a bit, hopefully. And I've also got this, which I thought was a good idea. But before I get started this time, there's one other thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's the thing, this grade of stainless steel isn't magnetic, unless it's been bent. However, if you heat it, I'm quite pleased with that, it's worked very well, it's got a bit of thrust too. So what I'll do, I'll make a part 2 video, I'll tidy up the welding, make it look a bit more presentable and then I'll sort out the fuel system properly and I'll do a secondary fuel system using diesel or paraffin or vegetable oil, something like that because it uses a lot of gas, it empties those little cylinders very quickly and then I need to decide what I'm going to do with it I've got a few ideas there that range from possibly interesting to downright dangerous I suppose there's also some other projects I've been working on, so once I've done part two for this, I'll look at making some videos for them. So if you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in part two. Ah, oh, don't read it from the card. Part one. Um, it's, I'm quite pleased with that. That's not even a shot. Empty? Again? It's a pity I didn't have some kind of heater. Up to comes next. Oh, that light's not come on. Welcome to the Battersea home for the terminally bewildered. No, that would be illogical. The hell? That would be illogical. <laughs>